Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Alright, in the last episode, we started the horse race storyline. So we pretty much just like proved to Bob that we could walk a horse, we proved to Bob that we can run a horse, and then we did time attack where we tried to beat Gwen's time, which is 52 seconds. We we beat it by like a hair. I actually think Maybe the time attack might not be necessary, but at least we got to, like, hear some cool music. <laughs> Let's see, how am I doing? I got plenty of jam. Uh, maybe I, should, I could do it, maybe a few more, though. Uh, let's find my berries. So, what we're doing right now is pretty much just befriending Bob and Gwen a little bit more until they give us more news about the horse race. Or maybe, like, something else we have to do <laughs> before we can compete. Let's make a few more of these. So yeah, hopefully you get that soon. I'm not sure if it's just, like, a time requirement after doing time attack, or if we have to be really good friends with Bob. Because I've, like, <laughs> I've, like, dragged this out where, like, he didn't come until the 26th, while other times he came at, like, the 14th. So I'm just gonna make sure he's like my best friend. Right, here you go, doggy. Jeez. Gather up some eggs. I, I really should be reducing these chickens soon. Maybe like once I get a good stack of eggs. Maybe I should like reduce my chickens to like two. So I think I, I do have a lot of golden eggs. Yeah, 28. As long as I, like, ration those, they should last me until, like, all the endings. <laughs> Good chickadees. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad after, like, raising all these guys. Wait, where'd the horse go? Did I leave my horse somewhere? Oh, wait, I left him inside because I thought, like, it might rain. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, let's get him out. He should be fine. Is everything alright? Let you out in the sun. It says tomorrow will be sunny as well, so maybe I'll leave you out. And then the game will probably lie to me and give me rain anyway. Why is such a liar game? Why are you lying? Sorry, right, today is Thursday. So Bob... Bob should be on his farm. Instead of in his shop. And I'm not sure where Gwen could be. She's like usually walking around. On Tuesdays I think she's up at the farm. And on Thursdays she, she, she seems to just be wandering around like this. It's like, where did you come from? Do you live in the flower shop? The day goes by so quickly. Alright, let me give you some jam without chucking it on the ground on accident. Because I think I have to be your friend as well. Looks delicious, thanks. What the heck is this? I've never seen this. I am okay, I am cute. Hmm. I've actually never seen this cutscene. I really don't think a wimpy guy like that could train a horse to be faster than mine or yours. What are you thinking about? Don't get all mad. The fate of this town is at stake. Does it really matter whose horse is entering the race? And besides, I think you've been keeping an eye on him. What? It's not anything like that. Well, well, look like <laughs> look like I've got some competition. Hmm. You're a jerk. Oh no, Gwen. No, don't come over here. You still see me? Oh, thank god. Yuck, I think Gwen has a crush on me. Uh, alright, yeah. <laughs> so Bob, Bob refers to competition, not as a horse race, but as, like, competition and love. Because he did promise Gwen when she was, like, a little kid that he'd actually marry her. Bob's either at the store or in the stable. 
he's always so busy. He's right there, Tim. But yeah, I guess Bob's worried that we're gonna like steal Gwen away with our like mad horse riding skills, but I don't I don't want her, Bob. You can have her. They understand what's going on even though they can't speak. Have some jam. Please take Gwen away from me. She's stalking me and she's scaring me and I don't like her. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of these like optional cutscenes that aren't required to complete the story event and I'm very glad I got to see an extra one. Because once again, I'm not sure where, where all the cutscenes are. Alright, let's go to bread. Doo -doo -doo. Like hopefully, hopefully getting that scene means that we're we're on the right track. <laughs> hopefully have we, uh, we have enough friendship. Alright, chickadees. I hope it doesn't rain. It said sun. But you know, the game likes to be a butt sometimes. Let's save. Over you. And tomorrow's weather is another sunny day. Okay, where am I going? <laughs> Here you go, doggy. I almost threw that on the ground. <laughs> Yay, more golden eggs! <laughs> oh man, this is all I want you guys for. Just lay me golden eggs. I probably won't even use all of them. I just want them. Do do do. Do 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 do. Click, 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 click. Then I only won. And then there was one. Alright, let me give you guys some loving. Good, Gin. Was it you? Were you the lucky horse that let me see that cutscene? Let me milk the cow. And I got some golden milk. I can't sing. It's a little bit early in the morning, so my voice is, might be... My voice might be a little froggy. A little froggy and gross. But of course, I was eager to play this while I have the time, so... I should be collecting more berry berries. I really should. <laughs> I really should be collecting more of these. I am using a ton of a ton of jam. I could also use golden milk to befriend Gwen and golden eggs to befriend Bob, but I'm like waiting to use those until the end. When I know that I'm like, alright, I'm almost done with this game. I know I'm not gonna be using these anymore. So here. Hey Gwen, what are you doing here so early in the morning? I get up pretty early myself, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, Gwen. Just 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 do what you have to do for the horse race. Let's go. Let's go berry hunting. Ooh, there's a lot of boo berries there. Give me some of that. <laughs> yeah, we haven't come here in a while. Yeah, neither Bob nor Gwen come in this direction. Don't, I think it's Bob on Thursday, he comes down to like the carpenter area? Like, later at night? Comes to visit Gwen. They actually don't see each other a lot. They only see each other on their days off. It's such an odd, odd romantic couple, I think. Do do, yeah. I don't know, it's like weird, because like, Bob promised Gwen that like, he'd marry her apparently when they were little, but like, he's significantly older than her. So he would have been like, a teenager or something when he asked her, or like when he when he told her that, I was like, hmm. It just kind of gets, that like, gets creepy vibes. It's not, it's not as creepy when it, they're like the same age, they're just like kids. It's like, oh, I'll marry you. And we'll be happy together forever and ever. We'll be best buds. Uh, 
Uh, but as a teenager, you're probably like thinking of other things when you, when you think of marriage. Do do do. Hi, Harvest Rites. Hanging out by the forests. Do 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 do. I got some jam for you. Hi, Bob. You never know what Tim's gonna do next. That kid, he dug up a huge hole on the farm on the other day. Uh, is okay. <laughs> I, I can't reprimand him for that because I did that too when I was a kid. <laughs> we were weird kids. It was like we had a backyard, so we're like me and my brother were just like, all right, we got a shovel. Let's try to dig a hole to the other to the other side of this fence. We got pretty deep, and then like, yeah, we dug this giant hole, and then it kind of became a tunnel that you could stand in, but we didn't really dig any more than that, because eventually that hole got filled with like spider nests, and we're like, yeah, no one wants to volunteer to go down and dig. Sometimes, when our parents weren't watching, we'd fill the holes up with leaves and then like, burn it, and like watch all the spiders burn. Very, very, very evil children. We actually almost lit, like, the backyard on fire. Thank god we were able to, like, play firefighter and put it out, or else we would have been in big trouble and probably would have, like, done some considerable damage. Little mini arsonists. Yeah, luckily, luckily it was, like, in the back back of the yard, so, like, only a tree partially lit on fire and we were able to put it out real quick. It wasn't like near any building, so... It wasn't like we would have burned someone's home down. We probably would have just like, oh no! There goes the plum tree! It is... gonna be cloudy tomorrow. That's 50% chance. 50% chance, chance of rain. Oh, someone's here! Yes! Brush that horse. Yeah, good horse. Good gin. Is someone here? Who is behind me? Oh, just Bob today. Thank goodness. I do not want to see Gwen. Hey, Talon! Uh, what's up, Bob? It seems you've gotten pretty fast. How about it? Wanna race me? Yeah, let's do it! Alright, it's set. We have the race at my farm. And we head out right away. If you decide not to do that, you can actually just... You can race him on Thursdays when it's his day off and he's at the farm. Oh, we get to hear this music again. Hey, he has the black horse. <laughs> Last time I played this, it was the opposite, because I had the black horse. Alright, let's do it. Three laps around the fence. We'll decide the winner. Alright. Let's go. Three laps around this fence. Go! Okay. Let's run. Alright, Bob should be a little bit slow. But yeah, try not to get stuck on like any fence sides. Oh god, you're getting you're on my ass, Bob. Get off me. I know I know you like that sweet ass, but still. Quinn's angry. Like, ugh, how dare he win? Do 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 uh, Is that two? D why are you mad, Gwen? I think we're pretty far ahead. Bob, yeah, Bob is usually slow. <laughs> a little slower, because, uh, yeah, he's huge. He's pretty big to be a jockey. Finish! Did I just beat my record? <laughs> I'm impressed that you beat me. Alright, there's no question about it. Let's enter again. In the horse race. Hold it right there. How'd you get up on that hill so fast? Were you running to get up there? 
Is that is that your Millie for Willie? You're not entering any race until you won against my horse. Now oh, you have the red one. All right, race against Gwen. I'm gonna make you do so bad that you have to give that horse to Takakura. Come on, just like before. It's three laps around this fence. All right, she's a little bit faster than Bob because <laughs> she's lighter. All right, three laps around this fence. Go. So try to corner your best and cut her off. Although don't, don't get stuck on her. Oh god, I hate when like my finger slips off the joystick. <laughs> okay, we're a little bit ahead, but don't rest on your laurels. Oh, Bob's happy. He's like, yeah, beat beat that Gwen. Do. And you're, you're a very fast horse. I feel like I feel like when I had the black horse, I had such a hard time. Are you are you a swift silver horse? Kuro is too bulky. My black my other black horse. He was meant to pull wagons and carry Bob. Finish. Alright, we beat Bob and Gwen. I think if you lost it against Gwen there, you would have had to wait until Tuesday when she was on the farm to, to re-race her. I can't believe I lost. You better believe it. Fine, I admit it. Gwen is faster. There's just two more weeks until the big race. You better stay in shape. Don't blush at me, I don't like you. Take good care of Gin. Alright, two weeks. And they spawned me here. No! I have to walk home. Uh, can I at least ahead of Bob? I'm not sure if we're good on like... It's actually like, that actually took real time. Like, real game time for that race. I'm not sure if Bob and Gwen need any more affection. Hey, let's get the day started! Yeah! Sorry, I just always have to psych myself up. Here you go, Bob. Yeah, I'm not sure if Bob and Gwen still need more gifts to reach the end, or... Yeah, if I could just sleep until... sleep for two weeks and see the end. <laughs> uh, well, I'll probably like give them a little bit more just in case. Hmm. Well, they'll end the game on the 27th? Or will it be- it might be an extra week until, like, they actually say the results. Results of the race. Okie doke. Gwen, are you in here? I'm not sure what day it is. Doo -doo -doo. How you doing, Gwen? I creamed you! Not in that way. I, I beat you in horse racing, not not the other gross thing. There aren't that many people here, so there's no need to build new houses. So... Grandpa doesn't get much of a chance to show off his real skills. Oh, I'm sad about that. Wow, homemade jam looks very delicious, thanks. <laughs> well, if there's a horse race hosted here, then I'm pretty sure Woody is gonna have a lot of work to do, because... He's gonna have to, like, build, like, help build a track and, like, a stadium, like a mini stadium and places for people to sit. Yeah, I'll be pretty hopping here. Hey, Tim, do you have anything to say? I just beat your brother. Or do you not care? <laughs> Don't tell anyone that I work here. Alright, he's just worried about people finding out that he's doing this job for candy and stuff. Okay, let me take care of the anim animals, and we'll head to bed. Do do do. Uh. There you go. <laughs> feed the dog. Don't forget to feed your dogs. I'm not sure if the horse still needs to be happy. <laughs> are you are you grazing? Okay, he's grazing. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow. 
Do do do. Do do do. I should I should sell some chickens. <laughs> In all honesty, I should sell some of these guys. But I'll miss them so much. All right, let's go back to bed. I got some jam on me. Two more days worth. Uh, all right, let's go to sleep and hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. Eh, yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Fifty percent chance again. Still the mild season. Um, uh, here you go, doggy. More foods. Any golden eggies, please. Any at all. Uh, what day is it? <laughs> it's Sunday. All right, Gwen and Gwen and Bob are in their usual places. Do 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 do. do. Just all regular eggs, really? Aha! One, one golden eggy. Alright, again, you did fantastic yesterday. I didn't even have to redo anything. Alright, good. <laughs> I was about to call you Bessie, because sometimes I name my cow Bessie. Get some milk. Uh, come on. <laughs> don't, don't get stuck now. That is your real name. How you doing, girl? Morning, Talon. I'm impressed that you're up so early. Every day. I'm a farmer. Oh, I guess I guess it's it's impressive for her, because technically we've only been here for two weeks. And we're already raising star horses and have a billion chickens. Somehow I have a kitchen. This is like, hmm, before he came here, I don't remember seeing a kitchen there, and all of a sudden, miraculously, it's there. Or maybe all their memories have been uh, altered. So, they just thought that that house was always like that. Bobberino! How you doing? Hey, let's get the day started! Yeah, sorry, I always have to psych myself up. Have some jam. Whoa, I love this kind of stuff. Thanks a lot. Alright, see you later, Bob. Alright, again, let's go back to the farm. Do, 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 do. Noot, noot. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lila. <laughs> it's Lila's day off. There we go. Alright, I hope it doesn't rain again, but I've already done your thing with you, so I don't think you need to be in, like, top shape. I think it's inevitable. The outcome is inevitable at this point. Let's save over here. And it's another sunny day. Hmm, should I make more jam? Once again, I think, I think the outcome is inevitable, but... I'm also, so, so, I'm also scared that if I like don't keep befriending him, I'm gonna like stall things on accident. Doo -doo -doo. No, I'll make more. Alright, I got another day's worth. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here you go, doggo! Chickadees, you got more eggies. Don't you yell at me. Ha. Golden eggs. Cock a doodle doo. Mm, doo, -doo, 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 -doo. 
I might do it on bird feed. <laughs> the rainy season is going to be soon, and yeah, if I let all my chickens in during the rainy season, I'm just going to feed them and like leave it at that. Because I'm more interested in like getting gold eggs off of them than just getting regular eggs. Doo, 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 doo. Good horse. And good cow. Good cow. Doo, 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 doo. Where are you going, horse? Where? Why are you leaving? Let's go. He's like, let's let's, hurt, let's go. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to run outside. Gwyneth, art thou here? Morning, Helen. I'm impressed that you're up so early. Every day. Every single darn day. Here you go. Wow, homemade jam looks delicious. See you later, alligator. Come here. <laughs> Stop turning around. There's a berry there. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that berry. Barberino. Do 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 Alright, let's talk to you behind the counter. I don't want to do any part-time jobs or time attacks. Grass will be fine without rain, but it's gonna be rough on your crops. I don't have any more crops. I got rid of that a while ago because I didn't want to have to take care of them. Actually, I wonder if there's any more cutscenes. <laughs> it's like, I should be inspecting places I don't usually go to. There might be one tomorrow when Gwen's here on a Tuesday. Eh? Eh? Nope. Okay. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Alrighty. Hear the pitter patter of feet. Boop. All right, I got what? Two more jams. Uh, yeah. Let's go to bed. I think I'll give him a gift tomorrow and then sleep until the twentieth. Maybe I'll visit him on a Thursday. <laughs> I'll visit him on Tuesday and Thursday. Because, uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna start raining tomorrow. Yeah, I'll visit them on Tuesday and Thursday because that's their day off for, for both of them. And I might see something a little bit different. They should I be letting you guys inside. I'm probably not gonna take that long to, like, run over there and come back. I should be letting these guys in. I'll just let them in and feed them in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Eh, this end. <laughs> Doesn't really matter which end you start at as long as you feed, fill the right boxes, which is all of them. Because I have all the chickens. Do. Yep. Minna's in here. Go chickadees, in you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> the rain, the rain is coming. There will be much storm. But very much wet. Do, 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 do. 
Aku dulu dulu. Um, down there. Yeah, could be chicken. Wow, just all regular eggs today. I've been gypped. I thought you guys loved me. I'm gonna turn you into fried chicken. Do 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 do. Uh, we love you. All right, uh, cow. I'll let you in. Even though it's like a super long way away. I know no more gold milk from you. Right, come on, Holly. Let's go back inside. Takes forever. Come here, girl. You can do it. I believe in you. Oops, didn't quite make it. Come here. Look very happy today. Oops. Get your butt in there. And I think you automatically teleport yourself in here. Do do do. One, two. Make sure I have two. Leave one for Gin. And one for you. Alright. Let's ride, Gin. Uh, where are you? Too lazy to find you. Just come to me. Out of the way, Tim. I'm gonna run you over. Doo -doo -doo. Da -da 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 -da. How you doing, Bobberino? You'll be out of stock of, on some things from time to time. Don't say I didn't warn you. That would suck if you ran out of bird feed. <laughs> that would really suck. Whoa, I love this kind of stuff. Thanks a lot. Uh, horsey. Come here. Okay, you look happy, but let me get on your back. Hey, Gwen. How you doing? I think this is the animal's favorite season. Yep. Nothing happened. Head back home? Uh, I don't mean to talk to your butt. Do, do, new, new, new. Uh, I'm so tempted to sell some chickens. Oh well. I'll just feed them for now. Again, definitely don't want to get you sick if I can avoid it. In you go. Alright, be good, doggy. He'll make some more jam. I'll give him some jam on Thursday, but not tomorrow. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> I look amused. One, two, three. Okey doke. Okey doke, guard a joke. Tall bud. Hey, training. Alright. 100% chance, chance of rain. Go doggy, something to eat. The bird feed out. Just keep you guys alive. Bloop. And a bloop. See you later, alligators. Hi, horse. 
one, a two, nope, food. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing that like, all right, time to do the horse race. <laughs> like you're almost to the end and then you kill your horse. It's like, oh, well, game over. Let's just save the homeland a different way. Uh, yeah, leave you in here. Let's go back to bed. Now, is it gonna rain tomorrow? Usually, if there's a cutscene queued up, it'll be... It'll be sunny. And it's actually raining. Hmm. Kind of don't want to see them if it's raining anyway. Oh, here you go, doggy. Eh, I'll give him a little chat. I think Bob is in his barn. Actually, on uh, rainy Thursdays. Bloop. Wonder if Gwen stays. Is she just in her shop? On Thursdays? How you doing? And I'm gonna have to walk everywhere because... Because. Uh, where? I'm in the wrong category. Okay, here we go. Where'd my cow go? Probably doesn't matter. They got food, they're fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to sleep, actually. I don't want to, like, drag this out longer than it should. And it's... Yeah, usually cutscenes don't happen on rainy days. Woohoo, it's storming! Ah! Uh... Oh well. I'm, I'm glad that we got that one bonus cutscene that I didn't know existed. If anything else exists and you know of it, <laughs> feel free to tell me. Because I'm pretty sure other people would like to know as well. Because, uh, there aren't really any complete guides on this game. Not a lot of time to get to figure things out on your own. Uh, it's a stormy day. One. Two, I feel like I blow my nose. <laughs> I'm like accumulating mucus. Food. Here, you want you guys want some attention? Am I ignoring you? Ignoring you for too long? You feel melancholy? Alright, be good, you two. Be friends. Don't do anything naughty. Alright, tomorrow is, what, precisely a week since we beat Bob and Gwen? Alright, it's a sunny day, so we're probably gonna get a cutscene. 50% chance of rain. Is anyone here? Hey, Talon! Hey! I'm happy to see ya! The horse race is coming up in about a week. How's Gin doing? Keep up the training. Don't kill him off on accident. And that's it. Good luck, man. He's just telling us that the horse race is in a week. Alright. Don't kill anyone. Alright, I'm just gonna feed these guys and go right back to bed. Do 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 do. Bloop. Bloop. And a bloop. Okay. Hey, one more week and we'll beat the game. <laughs> well, we'll beat this storyline. Do 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 do. Yoink. There you go. Don't die. <laughs> and don't die. Do, do, do. 
Good doggy. Sleepy time. Oh man, it's gonna take a while. Uh, it's raining again. It's actually another storm. Good thing I didn't let anyone out. There you go. Chilly game. There you go, chickens. I'm <laughs> letting you keep all your eggs. You're probably hiding them. Hiding all your clutches. That's, that's kind of that's kind of gross. You have chickens and they find, especially if they're outdoor chickens, and they find a really good place to hide a clutch of eggs. And then like you find them later and then probably like half of them are rotten. Because they, they're never going to hatch. Do-do-do. Back to bed. Well, the chickens in here don't really have that many places to hide. Or perch. They're just flat. It must feel very unsafe. Sunny day? Hmm. Alright, this is a dry season now, so maybe we'll let our animals back out? And that will mean we won't have to feed them. <laughs> We could just, uh, run out, feed the dog, and then run back in and go back to sleep. So, yeah, I think, I think the dog's the only one that can't, like, really forage for his own feed when he's outside. He needs people food. That makes sense, though. He's, like... He's not a horse or cow that can just eat grass. My chickies, better not, better not be an unexpected storm. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, should I collect them? <laughs> They're here. Might as well. Even though none of them are golden. Guys and goyles, out we go into the sun. Walk into the light. Hey, come here, girl. You'll get here eventually. All right. That counted. Thank goodness. So, all right. Uh, where are you? Alright, you're not that far away. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just ignore you. Yeah, we've already been going for over 40 minutes. We gotta hurry. We're almost to the end. Go to sleep. I think there might be a cutscene today. How's the weather? It's gonna be sunny. Who is this? Doesn't sound like Bob music. Ah, oh, it's you. I would have rather been Bob. Gin's a little timid, so I kind of worried. About what? He's a pro horse. Letting Gin smell this might help some. Are you trying to tell me to dope my horse? I'm not gonna dope him. It's a fragrance that soothes the nerves. Lila had taught me how to make it a while back. Well, Lila's like high all the time, so... I'm not giving that to my horse. You got Gwen's lucky charm. You got drugs. Time to dope our horse, I guess. And cheat. <laughs> Listen, I know Bob has faith in you, so I trust you too. I'll be praying that Gin will win. Later. See you later. Alright. What? A, that was kind of pointless. Just kind of showing us that Gwen, 
Gwen believes in us now instead of being all like, uh, my Millie for Willy will, will, will beat it, not him. He's an outsider. We got Lucky Charm made by Gwen. It's, it smells soothes the nerves. All right, so it's like a little sachet of calming, calming herbs. <laughs> Technically, we're not doping the horse. Because he's just like smelling. Smelling some, I don't know, smelling some herbs. I don't think that'll show up in his bloodstream or urine. I hope not. All right, let's go back to bed. Let's hope it doesn't un unsuspectingly rain. Sunny days ahead of us. Should take, what, about four more, four more days before the full week is up? Be what, on the 27th? Here you go, doggy. Uh, yeah, go back to sleep. Another sunny day. <laughs> go back to sleep. Just sleeping my life away. Right, 27th. Is anyone here? Yep. Hey, Bob! Well, my horse has been grazing and pretty much just resting up, so... Should be, should be okay. <laughs> It's the big day, Tallow! Mm. I'm here to take Gin. Hey, come here, boy. Mm. Looking good. You're gonna win for sure, man. Alright, looks like uh, Bob has his own jockey in mind. I, I hope he's not racing the horse. Bob is huge. All right, uh, he took the horse, so let's go back to bed. Yeah, no, unfortunately, we don't get to race. So he, he has like another jockey lined up, I guess. I guess we're not prestigious enough to ride our own horse. And I don't think tomorrow's weather matters. Let's go outside. Yay, victory! Hey! We totally missed the race. <laughs> you did it! You won! That was great. That means next year, they'll have the horse race here. I knew you could do it all along. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> Bob did. You, you're the one who doubted me, Gwen. Well, you were calling him an outsider. And a wimpy guy. When did you call me a wimpy guy? I wasn't there for this. Hey, shut up! Yeah, Gwen. You you go away. I don't like you. And they all have a good laugh after insulting me. Alright, we all share a thumbs up. My signature, my signature move. Alright, that's a horse race. Alright, we got to the end pretty quickly. Yay! <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that was fun. That was like, you can actually do mini games in that instead of just like activating cutscenes and actually race your horse around. Reminds me very much of uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask when I could race my horse around. Kind of feels like the same physics as well, except you couldn't really use a boost on your horse. Very, very wide turning horse. I guess if they like put in an actual like an actual horse race that we have to compete in, they would have to like design new characters for it because we'd be going off into like the city to do it, and I, that would be pretty hard though against like probably four four or five other racers. We'd be like running into each other. These horses have like big old hitboxes. 
Well, let's just enjoy the credits now. Get to reminisce about what we just did. Hey, like, remember that race that we did? It was so long ago. God, Bob is huge. He could be his own horse. That poor horse. I'm not surprised at all that Bob lost against us, because that horse had to carry a freaking mountain. Hey, boogers. Got a boogery nose. Now there's there's Gwen and her and her Millie for Willie. Yeah, you lost so bad that you had to give that horse to Takagura and he had to give it to the farmer in Forget Me Not Valley, you know, in the wonderful life game. That's what that's what I like to think happens. I was like, man, I quit horse racing. <laughs> Alright, we won. We did it. We all became friends. Alright, that was nice to get to know, like, Bob a little bit better. And his endeavors to save the homeland using using what he does best, which is raise animals. So yeah, I think this is, like, the first ending we've actually done that didn't involve us, like, finding an endangered species. We just used our own farm animals to beat this. <laughs> That's funny, like, yep, you can't build, can't build anything here. We're gonna host a horse race. Contract. Contract terminated. Alright, what is this? Please, please don't be Gwen. I'd rather kiss Bob. He's a hunk of a man. I'm pretty sure Talon would like it. He'd blush slightly. Well, I guess we're just taking a walk around Brownie Farm? Not like it's Gin, he went back home. It's, yeah, this is technically Bob's horse. We're just like taking care of it. Aw, he wants us to ride him. Get on. Did you did you show show us that you were the fastest? Were you the fastest horse in the world? Who was there? Okay, it's Bob and Gwen. I probably won't kiss any of them. No, oh, we're all on our horses. Oh, it's like get on. We're all gonna are we all gonna run together? So, and we all race, and Bob's in the lead for once. And then we're, we're just letting him win. Oh no, what, Gwen, Gwen has overtaken us. Oh, but I'm right behind, I'm catching up. Will I break through? Aha, I cornered. And I win. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Let's show them all racing. And they all lived happily ever after. Until the big racehorse doping scandal. And we lost our rights. Alright, we actually did it. Let's save our cleared data. Over here. Got the horsey stamp. Yeah, I'm glad we have to do that in like two episodes. Well, that was pretty quick. Uh, next one, I believe, it mildly involves Bob, is gonna be Treasure Hunt. This, this is actually, this one actually splits off into two different endings in the middle. So we're, we're gonna end up doing both of them. We're, 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 at the bo bleh. we're gonna have to do them both individually because, yeah, we got to clear both of them to get the stamp. To get the Treasure Hunt stamp one and two. Right, before I end things off, Let's look at some profiles. Uh, I think we got Gwen last time and Woody during the Endangered Weasel. We got Bob this time. Let's see, he's age 26. 
He's six foot five and 231 pounds. He's freaking huge. We already know his birthday because we we managed to gift him on his birthday during the first storyline. He likes horseback riding and sweets. All right, he's he has a sweet tooth. I, I imagine he'd be like a meat and potatoes kind of guy, but I guess not. He dislikes nothing in particular. He is the owner of Brownie Farm. He likes animals. He has a dynamic character. He is trustworthy. And he is Gwen's childhood friend. And it seems that he promised her that he'll marry her when they were younger. Yeah, I find this kind of weird because he's age 26. While Gwen is 18. So, like, even if... If she was 10 years old, he would have already been 18. <laughs> That's, like, a little creepy. Maybe they were younger. Maybe they were, like... I don't know, 6 and... 6 and, uh... 14, I don't know, that's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Alright, well, I think Bob is... Bob is just looking out for Gwen mostly. He probably doesn't believe that she'll find herself a man because of her attitude. Okie doke! That's it for the horse race. In the next episode, we'll get going on treasure hunt number one. Hope you had a fun and relaxing time, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,